Hello, I'm Jason Jarrett, the Love Encore Delivery Specialist at Dutch Miller Subaru, and I'm back again today with another tech tip for you. Today's tech tip is for iPhone users. Have you ever noticed that when you're on Bluetooth, that uh, if you get a text message, it doesn't alert you on the car's head unit? So it turns out there's actually a setting on your cell phone that you have to turn on to allow text messages to come in onto the car's head unit when on Bluetooth. So today, I have a special guest star, Jamie Ola, who is one of our salesmen here at Dutch Miller Subaru and is an iPhone user. He is going to be demonstrating to you how to turn on that setting so that way you can get text messages when on Bluetooth. All right, thanks, Jason. So this is a pretty easy thing that people skip over from time to time. So what we're going to do is, starting here on the screen, you can see I have my iPhone paired to the Ascent. And this is going to be general for any head unit, any Subaru. Uh, so once you've got it paired, if we go over to my phone here, um, I have the Ascent right here. It's connected. Um, if I click on that, you can see that show notifications is turned off. This is the setting that we're going to need to go ahead and turn on so that we can get those messages and notifications to the head unit here. So once I turn this on, this will enable my messages to pop up. So next time I get a text message and it's connected via Bluetooth, I will get a notification to the touch screen right here. Thanks, Jamie. So right there is how you can enable text messaging when on Bluetooth. Now, I just want to mention that if you are using Apple CarPlay, it will prompt you for text messages when using that. But this is going to get you covered if you're not using the Apple CarPlay. That way, when you're on Bluetooth, you know you've gotten a text message. Thank you so much for watching this tech tip today. I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and ring that bell. That way you'll know when I am posting new content. And as always, if you have a question about your Subaru, put a comment in the comment section down below. And who knows, I might make a video about it and answer your question. So thanks so much, and I'll catch you next time.